Cultured pearls from oysters have been around since the 1920s, but beautiful pink iridescent pearls that come from the Queen Conks have been left up to Mother Nature up until now. This is truly a breakthrough. It's a new gem for the market. There are no cultured Queen Kong pearls on the market. People have been trying, researchers and scientists have been trying for over 25 years. A very rare gem that now can be grown in about a year and a half. Just like when cultured oyster pearls were put in jewelry stores all across the country, jewelers are positive about the effect. It'll be great for the jewelry business. We rarely get any. Um, it'll be wonderful for all of our custom orders. Everybody's always asking for them and we can't find them. So just how rare is a queen conch pearl? Well, it takes about 10,000 queen conchs to find one natural pearl. And of those, one in a hundred are gem quality. So this guy got a lot of work to do. Dr. Hector Acosta Salmon and myself have been able to perfect a technique that is very reliable. And so to this point, we've been able to produce about 200 pearls. Our next step now is to perfect this even more so that we know what colors and what shapes and what sizes. And so that's the next phase of this research. And the great part is the queen conchs aren't harmed in any way while making or harvesting the pearls. Reporting from Fort Pierce, James Whelan, WPTV News Channel 5.